Hey guys, Chris Fix here and today I'm going to show you how to replace your hood release cable in your car or truck. And there's a good chance that if you're replacing the hood release cable, you're not going to be able to get your hood open just by pulling the hood release. So I'm also going to show you how you can pop your hood when the cable isn't working. In this case, we have a Jaguar X-Type and when I pull the hood release, the driver's side will unlatch but the passenger side is stuck. So let me show you how to easily open this hood and to do that, we have to understand how the hood release works. So I went to the junkyard and I got a hood release to show you guys. So when you close your hood, you slam the hood, that clicks closed and now the hood is stuck closed. Then when you pull the hood release lever, watch down here, it allows the hood to pop open. So you shut the hood and then you want to open it, you pull the release cable and it opens the hood. So it's a pretty simple mechanism. Now on the Jaguar, the hood release cable has failed. I'm guessing it popped off. So right now our hood is stuck in the closed position like that, so we can't get it open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pry bar and we're gonna stick it from underneath up into here and then pull it so it snaps open just like that. So our hood latch is located right about here. So we need to find ourselves a pry bar or something long that we could stick from the bottom of the bumper all the way up. So let's give it a go and see if we can get this popped open. So we're sliding underneath the car the radiator is right here. This is like a radiator mount. And what we're doing is we want to see where that hood release is. And you can see right at the edge of my finger, that's where the hood release cable fell off. And then right there is where our hood release is. So just get your pry bar and send it up there to the hood release. And do your best to aim and just slide that latch over. Just like that. Now that's how you open a hood that doesn't want to cooperate. All right, that is a relief. I'm gonna pop the hood and let's go check out the hood cable, see exactly why it's failing. So if we check out our hood release, that clicks in, we know that works. And this seems to be working fine. And the reason why our cable is not working and not unlatching the hood is because it's all rusted and it's kinked and this is just not moving at all. So in order to get this to work again, we're gonna replace it. It's inexpensive to do, it's not as hard as you would think and I'm gonna show you how right now. The first thing we have to do is remove the hood cable from the latches. And well, this side's been done already for us, but we still have to do this side down here. And just so you understand how this comes off, I have this hood latch here, and all you have to do is you have to pop this downwards. So the hood latch sits just like this, and you're just gonna press down, same with this, that just pulls right down, and the same with this. That pulls right down. They all just slide right into these. So it's pretty simple. So I have my camera set up right over here so you can see exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm gonna be using a screwdriver, just getting in here, and push down on the cable until it pops out of the latch. Good. Now we can go and grab our hood cable, start taking it out, and it kind of snakes behind stuff back here. So you're just gonna have to pull it through. Oh yeah, look at that. No wonder this wasn't working. This is all rusted and the plastic's coming off. And just follow this to see where it goes and start pulling it through. You can see it's snaking underneath the wiring harness here, so I'm gonna go over here. Where does it go? It goes right back here. And again, just pull it through until you get the cable free. All right, so we got everything removed that we can remove in the engine bay. So now we have to go into the car and we have to go down to this hood lever here and we're gonna have to remove the plastic trim and stuff that's around this, and then we'll remove the cable which is connected to this hood release lever. Now using one of these panel clip pliers helps pop out all the panel clips so you don't break them and so you don't break your plastic trim. So just sneak the pliers right underneath and pop it open, and then we can remove that panel. So now if you remove this weather stripping just a little bit, you can see there's two clips that are holding this in, and that pops right out. Now with our plastic piece removed, we have easy access to this lever, and then there's a bolt there, and then there's a bolt right up here. And you can see how this works. The cable fits in right there, and when you pull the latch, it pulls the cable to pop the hood. And this is nice and easy to remove, so let's get the bolts out. All you need is an eight millimeter socket. That's one. So the bottom one's out, now we go up here. Good. And then removing the cable from the actual hood latch is pretty simple. And then you get your flathead screwdriver, and it'll help you pry that out. Beautiful. And then slide this around so that the cable pops right out. So now this next tip is gonna help so much. This is the hardest part of this whole job. You need to install the new cable. So before you remove the old cable, go grab the new cable, 
And when you grab your new cable, you want to get the part that's going to go into the engine compartment. So this part is going into the engine compartment. You don't want the same part that's hanging out here, because what we're going to do is we're going to tape these together, and we're going to pull them through. So you don't have to actually manually go in there and try to push this all the way through, especially with all the wires and everything in the way. So again, make sure that you have the right side. This is going into the engine compartment. This is what's going onto our hood latches. So now you can either zip tie or tape it or use a little bit of both, and I'm gonna use a little bit of both just to make sure it doesn't come undone. Good, so that's not coming apart. And make sure you cut this as close as possible because you don't wanna have a big piece sticking out. We wanna make this as tight and streamlined as possible. So to help prevent things from getting caught up, I'm gonna just tape them to make them a little bit more streamlined, and it's just gonna prevent snags, basically. All right, so this is all ready to get pulled through. We have our old cable, and connected to our old cable is our nice new cable, and this goes all the way over here. And we're gonna be pulling it through up to the grommet. So we'll just come up over here, and the grommet is right there. A grommet's just a rubber plug that mounts into the firewall to prevent water from getting into the cabin. So all you have to do now is pull the cable, and basically we're using this old hood release cable as a snake. So we're pulling this, and that's gonna in turn pull on the new cable, and it's gonna pull it all the way through. It's gonna make your life so much easier. And once the new cable starts getting pulled through, be less rough with it, because you don't want to damage the new cable. This is the old hood release cable right here, and this is our new hood release cable. And now just carefully pull it through until the grommet meets the firewall. Once the grommet's at the firewall, give the cable a firm tug, and the grommet will move right through the firewall. And you can see the whole grommet pulled through, which is fine, so now we just need to pull it back the other way, just a little bit, so it seals the hole in the firewall. It might also help if you use a screwdriver, just in case your grommet isn't going all the way in. Just like that. Now that the grommet's in place in the firewall, let's disconnect the old cable from the new cable, because we're done using that old cable. And using the old cable worked great. Be careful, you don't want to cut the new cable by mistake. And now our zip tie is free. And with the new cable pulled all the way through, let's reconnect the hood release latch in the interior. So now grab your hood latch, it's gonna be sitting like that. We want to get our hood cable, and just pop that in there just like that. And then once that ball is in that socket there, we could go and press this in, just like before. We took it out, now we put it in. Good. Now let's bolt this up into place. So our screws go here and here, and we'll just hand tighten it to start. Now we'll just snug them up. Good. And good. Beautiful. Now all we have to do is get our plastic trim pieces. They snap right in. And then we have to move that weather stripping back in place. So now we have our last plastic trim to pop in. And we are done with the interior. Let's go hook up the hood latches. In the engine compartment, we need to run the cable in the stock location along the fender. And just make sure the cable isn't touching any sharp edges or anything that's hot as you run it to the hood latches. So now we're just gonna route our cable to the factory location. And it's gonna go under here. And we're going right to our hood latch. So this piece, this piece, and this piece are all going to connect to our latch. And let's go do that now. First get the cable in place under the latch, then pop in the black wire holder and make sure it clicks. Then secure the white latch bushing, and then the other black wire holder. And with that quick test, it stays in place. Alright, so with that clipped in place, now we'll go and clip in the other side for the other hood release. Get the black wire holder in place, and then get the white bushing in place. All right, so now before we close the hood, we don't want to run into the same problem we had before. I'm just going to lock both of these. Now when we go to open the hood with the hood latch, we can see if both latches pop open. And will it work? And it does. Awesome. All right, so both hood latches worked. Now the moment of truth. We could shut the hood and we could see if it pops open. All right, it looked like it worked. Let's double check. Beautiful. And that is how you change out the hood release cable on a vehicle, any vehicle. I mean, this was specific to this Jaguar, but it works on pretty much any car. So hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. Up on the screen are a couple of videos. To get to those, you can click on the screen or find the links in the description below. Also in the description are the links to any tools and products I used in this video.